Hello, this is Matthew Robert Payne. I'm, I'm the author of 120 uh, books on Amazon Books and the author of 4,000 videos, so check me out. Uh, this is going to be like a, a, a short uh, video uh, called uh, Understanding the Unknown Realms of Heaven. Um, I've, I've found uh, personally uh, that... Uh, there isn't a lot of uh, good information about heaven and how it operates. And uh, of, of course, you can uh, buy books of, of people who, who've uh, had a near-death experience and a certain Christian who are alive that have had visitations of heaven Someone who who wrote uh, two books uh, on heaven that are pretty good is uh, Kat Kerr, and uh, she's got uh, two books called Revealing Heaven Part One and Revealing Heaven Part Two, and uh, book book one and book two. And she doesn't have that available on Amazon, uh, but you can get those uh, paperback books. You can order them uh, from her website. So I recommend them. Um, there is an, uh, a tremendous amount of uh, information about heaven. And um, I first uh, uh, read, I, I first uh, found out, uh, I think I read it uh, in a book um, by a famous apostle, Indian apostle called Sadhu Sanda uh, Singh. Um, and uh, here's a famous miracle working uh Apostle of, of God, um, he wrote about uh, the realms of heaven. And I, I don't know uh, where I found that writing, but I, I found that about uh, 20 uh, to 30 uh, years ago and um, fascinated me uh, that uh, there, there were actual uh, realms in heaven and different uh, levels of heaven uh, that you can go to and you can send to. But he's pretty much... The only person, uh, I think it's the only time that I actually heard about uh, the realms of heaven. I thought I'd um, spend some time. I was just uh, talking to a good friend of mine, Mary, and uh, we're talking about uh, the realms of heaven and uh, thought uh, it would be, be a good uh, subject uh, to uh, do a video on. So there's... A number of scriptures in the Bible uh, that says uh, everyone uh, will uh, be rewarded uh, in heaven according to their works, whether good or bad. I think uh, it says something like that in the book of Revelations. But there's a number of verses in the Bible that speak about heavenly rewards. Uh, Jesus uh, speaks uh, clearly about that uh, where he says, don't store up your treasure on earth where moth and rust and uh, thieves break in the steel, but instead store your treasure up in heaven um, for where your treasure is, your heart will be. And um, the problem with uh, that scripture is uh, people are aware that they've got to store their treasure in heaven, but they're unaware of what treasure is and how to store treasure and what you actually got to do to store treasure in heaven. Um, and uh, so the subject of eternal rewards isn't really understood and certainly what constitutes a storing treasure and what actually is treasure. Uh, it, it needs uh, more revelation um, by the Holy Spirit. I wrote a book about uh, making your life's focus on rewards in heaven and uh, it's uh, got a title called living uh, for eternity and um, I think the subtitle is something like life with eternal rewards in mind or something like that but if you search Matthew Robert Payne and type in living for eternity uh, you'll find that book and um, you've got to do a search to find it on Kindle I think the Kindle and the paperback book are separated on Amazon, um, but um, 
I encourage you to read that book for more on this. Uh, so there is uh, scriptural support uh, for the fact that there's rewards in heaven, but people uh, don't understand that uh, there's certain people uh, in heaven with more heavenly rewards than other people. And one of the ways that uh, you're rewarded in heaven for your works is uh, you you arrive in in a separate realm you are uh, subjugated you're you're given you're awarded uh, a certain realm in heaven and as far as i know as as, as far as my own insight uh, gives and as far as the revelation i understand i understand that to be uh, at least seven realms in heaven like realm one all the way to realm seven be the highest realm and um it's a misunderstanding, uh, it, not so much a misunderstanding, it's a lack of understanding, it's a lack of uh, understanding about heaven, uh, because it, it certainly isn't taught uh, by many people, but it's sort of ignorance by people, and you, you can't uh, you can't be blamed uh, if you're ignorant, if no one's really uh, teaching on the subject, so it's not anyone's fault that people aren't aware of this uh but um there there is a lowest realm in heaven there's there's a place in heaven there's a place outside of heaven not even the first realm which is called paradise and there's there's a place that looks like earth with vegetation and people living in peace and joy uh, and it's outside the gates of heaven, and it's called paradise, and that's the lowest realm of heaven. And then when you enter the gates uh, and meet Jesus, uh, you, you come into the lowest realm. Uh, the Apostle Paul spoke about uh, making it to heaven by the skin of your teeth, and there's not much skin on your teeth. And uh, so that analogy is essentially saying you just made it to heaven, you really are fortunate you, you you're lucky you just made it to heaven and that's uh speaking about the lowest realm so if someone uh was just saved and uh didn't go on and do any uh christian works so or didn't really grow in their faith they may end up in the lowest realm uh someone who was saved and just went to church and practiced religion and didn't really grow any and didn't become intimate with Jesus, which uh, speaks for about 50% of the church, all those people end up in the lowest realm. Now, if you are in the lowest realm, you're not going to, uh, and this is surprising, this will come as a surprise uh, to many people listening to this, and I don't expect many thousands of people to be listening to this but for if you're listening to this this may come as a surprise to you uh, when you go to heaven you're not going to walk down the street and meet abraham or meet king david or meet elijah or or, or meet moses or, or 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 daniel or the biblical greats in the bible uh, you're not going to uh live your life in heaven and uh, and, and always be bumping into saints in the Bible that had a reputation and did mighty exploits for God. Uh, those uh, people, Abraham and Moses and David and Elijah and Daniel, they live in the seventh realm. And um, because they're different realms on earth, we understand that there's, there's, uh, there's little understanding of it, but there is people who've taught about it is, we live in a, a, an earthly realm, but uh, there's a kingdom realm, there's a spiritual realm, and um, all the time there's angels uh, surrounding us and angels are walking and doing works in the spiritual realm and they're right next to us and they're, they're uh, affecting us and uh, doing impact and having impact on the world, but we don't see them, we're not aware of them. Uh, you you may have experiences where you come aware that your angel spoke to you, or angel uh, did something, or interacted with you in some way, or, or caused something to happen. 
but the average human, the average Christian uh, doesn't interact with the angels, doesn't hear their angels, don't see their angels, uh, don't have a lot of encounters. Many Christians may have an angel story, but they, they don't have a life where they talk to their angel every day like I do. Uh, so the angelic uh, the angelic and God live in a different realm. So we understand that, um, you know, I understand at some stage in my life when I was busier writing books, I had five angels that were in my house that worked with me and walked with me. And that didn't mean that I saw them every day and interacted with them every day, but they're in another realm. They were with me, but I couldn't see it. And so, the same thing manifests in heaven. When when you go to heaven, uh, there's going to be uh, people in different realms of heaven. And unless you're in the realm of the seventh realm, you're not going to meet the greats of, of the Bible all the time. You're not going to be mixing with them. Now, people from the seventh and sixth and fifth realm, the higher realms, can be sent on an assignment by the Holy Spirit down to the lower realms to interact with the people there, to encourage them, inspire them, and mentor them. So you may be in a situation in heaven where you're dealing with something and you've got like um, something to conquer and something to overcome and uh, some sort of a spiritual growth that you need to achieve. And you need uh, like motivation to uh, get uh, through that uh, blockage or get uh, above and, and improve. And you may be thinking about how uh, King David uh, faced Goliath and Goliath was big, but he had the courage of God and was empowered by God and overcome Goliath. And you may be thinking about King David and Goliath and you may go to a cafe and David might walk up to you and say, you're just thinking about me, let's have a conversation. So it's not as though you won't uh, meet the saints of heaven. If all of your life uh, you lived and uh, your one true desire be besides uh, meeting Jesus in heaven is to meet King David, you'll definitely uh, meet King David and that desire of your heart won't uh, be un undone it won't be unaccomplished but as far as uh associating and mixing with the top saints of heaven uh, the top saints of the bible every day and yeah, everyday interaction that simply won't happen so saints in the seventh realm of heaven can go to a popular coffee shop in heaven and there be uh, people from the whole seven realms of heaven uh, in that coffee shop and uh, someone from the seventh realm may sit in your seat or may sit opposite you um, and uh, be sitting in the seat of your friend and two people will be sitting on the same seat and interacting in the same um, place but be in different actual realms in heaven and uh, the same coffee shop can be serving uh, people from the whole seven realms and the staff uh, meeting the people from the seven. I don't know particularly how that works, but uh, the people in the seventh realm always uh, mixing and interacting with the seventh realm and they are sent down to uh, meet the people in the lower realms uh, to minister to them and to encourage them. And, uh, and so, um, uh, so many people uh, in the highest realm in heaven uh, like Jesus said, does anyone want to become great? Let him be a servant of all. And that uh, applies to spiritual matters and certainly applies to heaven. So uh, the people in the highest realms are servants and they're the greatest servants. So they may spend a lot of their time going to the lower realms, encouraging people, but not everyone in the lower realm will see them. So if David has come to encourage you, he'll be sitting opposite you in the coffee shop, but the other people in the lowest realm won't see him. He'll be there ministering to you. So 
I just thought I'd encourage you because uh, just like tithing, uh, the subject of giving or the subject of evangelism, evangelizing your friends, there's certain subjects in the Christian faith that people uh, don't really uh, ascribe to, don't really like. And uh, one of them I've noticed is uh, the fact that uh, there's actually rewards in heaven, and uh, and one of them is uh, talking about laying up treasure in heaven and the rewards-based system of heaven. And people are on earth, uh, and the average Christian tend to think if they say a sinner's prayer and they go to church and read the Bible and practice the tenets of average religion, that, that uh, they'll go to heaven and uh, they'll know as much as Jesus and they'll have all sorts of knowledge. And there's so much misunderstanding and ignorance about heaven. When you get to heaven, you haven't got any theological knowledge more than what you had on earth. Uh, where what you had the intimacy and the spiritual insight and knowledge that you have on earth, you'll have that same knowledge when you appear in heaven. The, the only way you'll grow in knowledge and wisdom in heaven is if you apply yourself to that knowledge and wisdom. And everyone in heaven, uh, each week goes from glory to glory. Everyone is growing in heaven. But uh, you don't arrive in heaven all knowledgeable and all wisdom and just being like Christ, knowing everything. And there's a popular misteaching, and it's very popular that when you go, get to heaven, you'll know everything and everything will be great. And that's just simply not the case. Um, but um, not many people have been to heaven and interacted with people in heaven and spent time in heaven and understood the culture of heaven and had insight into how heaven works. And it's very rare that people speak on it. Even, even Kat Kerr with her thousand trips to heaven doesn't uh, speak at this level about how heaven operates and if you listen to Kat Kerr you think that everyone arrives in heaven has the best time of their life and everyone's uh, you know in a greater place and heaven is just fun 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 well there's people who suicide on earth and when they arrive in heaven they're totally shocked that they're in heaven and some of these people have to be in heaven for a couple of years dealing with their pain and the trauma that they had on earth before they can transition to the happiness of heaven. If you've lived in depression and sadness and trauma all your life, uh, coming to a happy place where there's no trauma, no depression and no sadness is very hard adjustment. So uh, people arrive in heaven how they are and uh, it's over the course of years in heaven that they increase and they learn more and they grow from glory to glory is it possible uh, for you to arrive in uh, the first realm in heaven which i say over 50 percent of christians do um, is it possible to arrive in that lower realm and mature uh, and grow into the seventh realm. Yes, it is possible, but it may take you longer in heaven. Uh, does the work you put in uh, to uh, applying yourself and developing in intimacy and your obedience that you apply yourself on earth, does that uh, constitute uh, the rewards you get in heaven? It certainly does. And that's why there's so many scriptures talking about rewards and it's just not understood. So I found that uh, many people I talk to just simply some of the concepts I talk about go over people's heads. And it wasn't until about three months ago that uh, the Holy Spirit impressed upon me that I'm in this seventh realm in heaven and I speak with the wisdom that comes from my seat and my throne in heaven and and I speak from the seventh realm and people in lower realms um, that have, have got uh, a place of a lower realm that they're going to appear if they die, 
they can't necessarily understand the level of wisdom and the insight that I have. So many times people dismiss me as a fool or crazy or mentally ill or, or a false prophet uh, because they simply don't understand the wisdom that uh, comes from me. And Paul expressed that when he said the wisdom of God is foolishness to men. And, uh, and uh, so... Uh, Many people, instead of understanding the wisdom that I bring forth and uh, changing their ways and accepting the wisdom that I speak, they choose to say I'm a fool and that's foolishness and I've never heard that before, so I'm going to reject it. So the majority of people that I share these higher things with reject the knowledge and reject the wisdom and choose to stay with what they believe and they reject it out of hand and call me a fool or a false teacher or call me deceived. And um, that's quite okay. This is made uh, for the one or two people who capture this message and go on to um, read my book, Living for Eternity, and uh, choose this day to make a change in their life and apply themselves to uh, uh, earn a greater reward. Uh, in Revelation, it says uh, we'll uh, be given rewards, whether good or bad, and we'll be rewarded for the good or bad that we do. And if you are a teacher like Benny Hinn, and I'm going to use his name not just to pull him out and demean him, but if you are a teacher like Benny Hinn that teaches the prosperity gospel and teaches uh, people that God wants you to be rich and he, he wants you to live a lavish lifestyle and he teaches you that it's quite okay to be covetous and uh, run after the things of the world and uh, fully embrace the things of the world and you can uh, love the world and love God at the same time, a false teaching like that, covetousness. If your your teaching leads means the people into a covetous lifestyle where where the world is their God and they they pay lip service to loving God, but they really love the world. If your teaching leads a lot of people into error and people who practice covetousness and never repent end up in hell, and if you're Benny Hinn and you're leading many people into hell, the level, the realm that you go to of suffering in hell is a lot more than someone who just uh, was covetous themselves but wasn't a teacher and didn't lead anyone else there. Like, for instance, I had a 39-year addiction to prostitutes um, and uh, I found some pretty good uh, escorts and prostitutes and I found some pretty good uh, brothels to sleep in. If I was a person making videos and advertising the good brothels and leading people uh, to the good escorts and advertising them, which I could have done, I've made enough videos, if I was leading other people into sin, uh, my reward in hell would be worse than just doing it privately and not leading anyone into it. And Benny Hinn's a nephew wrote a book uh, last year uh, about a falseness and a false teaching of the prosperity gospel. And his name was Costi, C-O-S-T-I, Hinn, H-I-N-N. -N. Uh, he wrote a book on uh, the false gospel of the prosperity gospel. And it was like a public rebuke of his uncle basically saying his uncle is a false teacher. And uh, his uncle, Benny Hinn, repented on uh, public Christian TV and said he's moving away from the prosperity gospel and he's not going to practice it anymore. He realises it was error. And I believed him because I followed Benny Hinn and uh, I was really impressed. I'd read the book by Costi. I realised that it got traction and it sold thousands of copies and uh, Benny Hinn must have been getting a lot of heat from people. So his advisors must have said, come out and public rena renounce this and publicly repent and uh, that'll cool it down. So he did that. But I was a friend of Benny Hinn's on Facebook and I saw a, 
Benny Hinn live three weeks later after his repentance. And he was back teaching the prosperity gospel, giving a message on money and how you've got to give and God's going to give back to you. He was back into it at full force. And so his repentance, I, I'm not sure if it was a true repentance. Uh, it may have been a true repentance. And he no noticed the drastic uh, drop in people giving to his ministry whatever the case is he fully embraced the prosperity gospel again and um, I believe uh, with all my heart uh, as a person who walks close to God that uh, if Benny Hinn died tonight he'd not only go to hell but he'd go to one of the most serious realms of hell of suffering uh, one of the hardest realms of heaven because he's built up his reward in hell for how many millions of people he's led to hell and believe me uh, Jesus has uh, 10 parables that teach Christians can go to hell and um, I, I have got a book uh, that says that the parables that disqualify you from heaven and you can look up that book and make the changes in your life. I, I personally believe that 50% of the Christians in this world die and go to hell. So I hope that uh, you're encouraged by this. Uh, it's my prayer that uh, this uh, this uh, teaching will uh, motivate you to go and read my book living for eternity and for you to not only read your book but apply, read the book but apply yourself to learning apply yourself to obedience apply yourself to storing up treasure in heaven i pray that uh, this uh, blessed you and encouraged you i'd be encouraged if you press like it would help with the algorithm uh, I'd be encouraged if uh, you wrote a comment and gave me feedback. And if this is the first video you've seen of mine, um, you may be encouraged to subscribe to my channel and listen to other videos of mine. Uh, God bless you and keep you. It was a pleasure bringing this message.